We are live from Digital Address GA0992539 in Kukumemi Accra on DSTV Channel 421 and Go TV Channel 144. A good morning to everyone. The show is Join News Interactive and our social media handles for Facebook, Twitter and Instagram is Join News on TV. I'm Selina Ampo. Now we all know the National Science and Math Quiz is going on and some interesting voices have added um, to it. And the members of parliament are encouraging lesser known schools participating in the National Science and Math Quiz to work hard and win the competition. As seen North MP Abuna Dorua delivered a statement on the floor of the house congratulating founders of the competition for the idea. Nothing, it has grossly improved math and science education. MPs have been contributing to the statement wishing the participating schools well. Recent times, the euphoria surrounding the National Science and Math Quiz Competition, an annual science and math mathematics based quiz competition for senior high schools in the country, is unmatched to any academic event on the senior high school's academic calendar. <laughs> Kindly permit me to seize this opportunity to extend my congratulatory message to Assin State College, one of the participating schools in my constituency, Assin North which will be making its maiden appearance in this year's competition after defying all odds to upset the apple cart in the central region. The science and mathematics quiz, as the maker of the statement mentioned, has gone a long way to keep interest in studying of science, mathematics, and technology in our schools. So you see that the traditional schools, or the so-called traditional schools, that were interested or always winning the trophy have not given way to less endowed schools that are winning the trophy year by year. And we encourage them to do so as quick as many as possible. So all schools that qualify for the competition must be highly congratulated. I therefore urge all the participants, schools to learn hard and make high marks in this competition, especially all the students from Central Region, we are telling them that the Central Region is the center for education. So they should do well and bring the trophy to the Central Region. It is observed that we didn't start the competition with such a large number. Today the number has increased and so we believe that the number will continue to increase. So those who are not part of it should also learn hard so that next time they will be part of the competition. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, this competition serves as a moral boost to most of the schools. And schools that would have won the trophy would surely work harder to ensure that they keep up. Yes, we hope all the schools participate and they do well and get to the finals. Well, away from that, let's talk about World Refugee Day. In a world where violence forces thousands of families to flee for their lives each day, the time is now to show that the global public stands with refugees. The 2019 theme for today is hashtag step with refugees and take a step on World Refugee Day. Around the world, communities schools, businesses, faith groups, and people from all walks of life are taking big and small steps in solidarity with refugees. This World Refugee Day, we challenge everyone to join together and take a step with refugees. Let's hop onto social media to find out what you are saying about World Refugee Day. And Luke Evans is tweeting, he says, every year millions of people worldwide are displaced, people forced to flee their homes due to war, conflict, and persecution. Today, we remind ourselves of this situation. I took this pic as I entered a refugee settlement. That's the picture right there. Last November, hashtag change, hashtag World Refugee Day, hashtag save the children. And Hazal K says, on hashtag World Refugee Day, no one chooses to be a refugee. We pledge to make the world a better place for all. And Jeremy Corbyn says we must reject the language of hate and division and offer the hand of humanity to those in need. Hashtag World Refugee Day. 
Lumos is also tweeting. Lumos says, around the world, the number of people who have been displaced is at, the, is at its highest since World War II. More than 50% of them are children, many who will be fleeing alone. These children are vulnerable and they need your help. Show your support on hashtag World Refugee Day. And please retweet. Intelica Limited is also tweeting, says, Today is hashtag World Refugee Day. The theme for World Refugee Day 2019 is hashtag Step with Refugees, which focuses on the need to take big and small steps in solidarity with refugees from around the world. Chris Leslie tweets, The sheer scale of 70 million plus displaced people forced to flee and seek refuge illustrates how nations worldwide must work together to provide sanctuary and where possible intervene to prevent humanitarian distress and uphold the UN responsibility to protect. Hashtag World Refugee Day. And Teresa Masia says, on World Refugee Day, I remember those still suffering in slavery in Libya. Join my stand, hashtag World Refugees today, and demand action and end the sale of refugees and migrants in Libyan slave market. Act now. Well, let's take a short break. We'll be back with something on tech. Well, let's hop on to social media. On Facebook, we asked you to share what your most memorable Black Stars moment from the AFCON was. And we have Kwesi Afo, who says Ghana beating Nigeria 2-1 in 1992 and 2008. Those are Bedi Pele and Asian Hedda Goals. Incredible. Unbelievable. And Simon Monto says, Egypt 2006, when Ghana went with black jersey kits, even Zimbabwe had to score Ghana and we were eliminated in the group stages. And Papi K from Pon says, Senegal 1992 was when Black Stars was a Black Star. And Musa Mohammed. Mukta says the penalty as Jan missed is still paining me. Well, that was in the World Cup, not the AFCON. And Jonathan Brew says Black Star qualifying for the tournament. And that was his most memorable moment of the African Cup of Nations. Julius Yang says penalties with Ivory Coast and DDIU wet. I remember that one too. Richard Ejiri says, penalties with Ivory Coast 1, Senegal 92, all the players played. And Yao Ifum says, when Ghana was leading 2-0 against Ivory Coast and Andrea Yu was expected to take the third kick for Ghana, but decided to go in for the final kick. Ghana would have won had he killed the three shots for Ghana to take a commanding three goals lead. And Leno Deco says, there hasn't been any memorable Black Stars moments in my life. I see. Uh, Isaac Y.A. Brown comes in with a comment. He says, 2010 AFCON finals against Egypt when Mohamed Jeddo scored that painful lone goal against us. Well, it's time for us to wrap up on the show. Join us interactive and watching with me, Selina Ampudu. Enjoy the rest of the day. Goodbye.